So guys, I have my React frontend and WordPress backend running on Docker container and React frontend in a different folder. And then I have my Express app, which receives Axios request. If I look at the code base, you can see my frontend app and my Express app. And then I have my WordPress installed here in www folder. If I go to my frontend, frontend app, you can see I have a home page. I have the sample page. If I go to home page, I can see it's the routes are working. If you look at the Express application, you can see I've installed Express package, MySQL, cores, and then I've also installed TypeScript packages. My Express app entry point is in index.ts. It's a TypeScript file. Index file calls for app class, which contains the Express API calls. Express API class contains all the routes and libraries. In my API class, I have few private variables to hold database drivers, MySQL, and functional libraries. Inside the API class, API get in a data method have the API route to get all the data need to start the front end app. And it calls an async method to return WordPress pages and menu items. If you look at WordPress functions library, get init data method you can see the mysql query to get published pages with seo custom fields and then published menus with menu items i have a php stone request test file i've created to test this api endpoint let's go ahead and check the request you can see my request status is 200 and i have a pages and menus in my response Next, we'll look at how we can use this API endpoint call from our front-end React app. I've used Redux to store these pages and menus data returned from this API call. I have used create async tank in my store to fetch data and store it in an object variable. So these data can be accessed within the front-end app. Let's go to the front-end app and see how it works. I've installed the Redux dev toolkit for Google Chrome. So it'll help me troubleshoot my Redux store data. If initial data load variable is empty, you can see the app request this data from the Express app and save it under initial data load object. In my response data object, I only have list of menu items and they are not formatted to include inside each menu. I need to create each menu and sort the menu items inside each menus. So I will do it in my front end app. Let's look at the WordPress backend app. You can see the menu structure. I have menu called header menu. You can have multiple menus like footer menu, sidebar menu, and so on. Once I have the menu list, I am formatting these menu items to their own menus and then will be restored in another Redux variable called menu list. In my front end app, I've created a library file inside the components library directory to include common functions like create and get menu items. Create menus function will sort the menu items to the correct menus. Then sorted menu list is saved to the menu list Redux variable. In my main navigation TSX file, I use get menu method to retrieve header menu from menus list array. This menu array will be rendered using list item function. That's it for this video. Hope this helps. Please subscribe and give us a like.